everybody. Hey, my card is coming around, and uh, make sure you get one of these. These are hot commodities out here in the market. If you take one of those and pass it along, and there's more coming around. Um, there, there is a little problem with my business cards. There's always been a problem with my business cards. I tell you on my business card how many model rocket kits we have in stock at E-Rockets. And if you take that little 724 and just cross it off and put 780 on it, you'll be up to date. All right, so we have 780 different rocket kits in stock on any given day. And I'm not counting the out of stocks. We'd have like 900 if we had that. But, you know, we've got a few things that are out of stock right now. But anyway, you know us. Uh, come on over to erockets.biz and check us out. Um, we've got quite a catalog. <laughs> and of course, the latest kit to come back out is the finally sought after Saturn 1B. Yay. It is now available. Um, just go to the E Rockets website, pick one up, or one of our fine suppliers that carries 100. our stuff. What's that? 170. 170. It is 170. Okay, it's the old, yep, it's it's the the old, old Estes yeah. kit. Yeah, and I mean, it is the old Estes kit to the teeth. I mean, it is well, right there. I might say, because I have one of the original Simplex, yeah. and if you follow that, he upgraded the Estes kit with some features yeah. that make it a little easier to build as far as the, uh, and you have a choice of either a single 24 millimeter mount are the four 18 millimeter yeah, plus. You shouldn't tell people that because that's like step four. You have to decide, and, and so many people agonize over that decision. You have to decide at about step four, are you gonna make it a four motor cluster or are you gonna fly it on 20, 24 so millimeter? Need to sell so you decide right here. Oh my, anyway, it's up to you guys. If you wanna buy two, we'll make them because we have them. Uh, Mars Lander, of course, is still out. Mars Lander's in a box now to keep uh, it from getting crushed and that kind of stuff, so that's a great opportunity for everyone. Uh, we've been very busy at E-Rockets trying to get all the Semrock kits completed, and we have achieved that. Uh, 121 Semrock kits are now out and available and will continue to be available. Thank you. It's a little more than a year, but we finally pulled it off. And uh, thanks for all your folks' support in making that happen. Uh, E-Rockets has been a very busy place. Many of you were at Narcon this last year, and uh, we had a wonderful Narcon there in Dayton, and E-Rockets had a fantastic open house where many people got a chance to get over and see us. If you're ever coming through Ohio, uh, either north and south on 75 or east and west on 70, uh, you have to give me a call, stop in the shop, say hi, maybe do some shopping. Uh, we love having guests, and uh, it's on the way somewhere, so stop in if you can. Uh, anyway, we've been really big, really big on a lot of stuff that's been coming in new. Um, ASP, Andy, we've added all his kits in. Um, we're going to add a few more probably this weekend, and I think we'll pretty much carry all his scale kits. Uh, new Way, we're one of his top sellers. Uh, Dr. Zooch, if you ever need a Dr. Zooch kit, we are by far his number one uh, seller. And Wes has been uh, injured recently. He hurt his neck and back, and he has not been producing a lot of kits. Uh, so that's one reason why a lot of those have been out of stock. And then, of course, the launch pad, we do very well with that. And uh, the poor fellow there, he had a heart attack. So uh, we are waiting to find out what's going to be happening with launch pad here coming up in the near future. As far as, uh, oh, Sunward is back as well. I guess that's another good piece of news. Uh, the folks in Canada are pretty putting things together. And ARG is also back, um, and they're going to be distributing through Rocketarium. And we will carry all of their part, all of their stuff. So as soon as it's available, we'll have it. Uh, so we're kind of like the one-stop shopper uh, as far as having things available for you. Now let's talk just a little bit about Semrock new kits. I have nothing new coming out. The Saturn 1B pushed us to the limit uh, for this one. Uh, so we're good with that. Um, and we got all these kits out too. <laughs> so I gotta make sure I get the billboard out there and show that off a little bit. Uh, but anyway, we are coming up with a handful of new kits. There, we, we clearly see there's a, a gap in the marketplace when it comes to competition kits. Um, if you get a chance during helicopter day, we have a new helicopter that'll be coming out. Little A helicopter, we took a ton of steps out of it. 
Uh, kit's going to come out. It's going to be twenty bucks. Uh, it's a you know couple hour build. It's still going to be skill level three, but it'll be one of the easiest competition helicopters you'll ever see as far as putting together. So that'll be something really exciting. And then the other thing that's really big that we've got coming out is we've got a new uh, kit called the Augie. I don't know if you guys remember from way back in the 60s or 70s, there was a kit in the Estes. Uh, free plan. A free plan, that's right. And so we've taken Augie and we put him on steroids. <laughs> yeah, Augie will fly on the black powder uh, FNG motors from uh, Estes, E and F motors from Estes. Uh, it will take two of them. Uh, we've got a locking mechanism to lock the upper motor in the upper stage. And then the bottom motor is kind of like a Chad stage that fits inside this big old hollow tube that just howls when it goes. So it reaches about 2,000 feet uh, at minimum. So it's really kind of for, for uh, uh, big fields. But it's going to be an exciting model when it comes out. And then we've got other things that are coming down the pike that Carl had started uh, before he passed. and all but one or two of those kits we're actually going to release. So, any questions for E-Rockets or Sumrock? Great. Hey, thanks guys.